Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video tutorial of Amazon Web Services, AWS, I'm going to show you how to host a static website on Amazon S3 bucket and map a domain name using Namezip domain name provider or any other domain name provider like GoDaddy or so. Let's see how. Here just for this demo, I have created a static web page, index.html, which is on my desktop and a static website folder. If I double click on it, we can see the page uh, which is now loading from my computer. I can just see it locally. But I want to host it on the Amazon S3 so that it's accessible from anywhere in the internet. S3 or the simple storage service is an object storage service which is actually meant for storage services. But we can host static websites as well. So on the AWS Management Console, click on Services. Here you can search for S3 or you can just click on S3 under the storage section. Before creating a bucket, I want to show you my domain name, which is uh, eternaljoyintl.com by entering it on a web browser. As we can see, it's displaying this site can't be reached. We will get the web page opened in this domain when we host it on the AWS S3 and do the required configurations correctly. We need to create a new bucket in the same name as the domain name. So I select it, right click on it and click on copy. Then go to S3 management console and here on the right side, click on create bucket. In the bucket name box, right click and paste or you can simply press Ctrl plus B shortcut keys. Remove the HTTP colon slash slash and then last slash as well. Scrolling down, we need to uncheck the block all public access. Then only the hosting will be publicly available. Otherwise not. Scroll down a bit. Click on the I acknowledge checkbox and click on create bucket button. As you can see, the bucket is created. Just click on it. We don't have multiple folders or the website directory for multiple sections. So we can just click on the upload button. Then click on add files button. Click on the index.html file. This is the web page file. Then click on open button. Then click on next. Again, click on next. Leaving the standard selected, click on next. And finally, click on Upload. Okay, it's uploaded and we can see the file here. Now click on Properties. Click on Static Website Hosting. Click on Use this bucket to host a website. Give the index page number. For our case, it's uh, index.html page itself. But if you have index.php or something like that, then you should give the name exactly same as your file name and the extension. Then click on save. Now click on permissions. Click on bucket policy. And here you can write your own bucket policy if you have that knowledge. Otherwise, you can click on the policy generator. Using the policy generator is much easier. But however you do, you need to specify this ARN or the Amazon resource name. So uh, select it, copy it, and then click on the policy generator. Here select the type of policy as S3 bucket policy. Make sure the effect is allow. In the principal box, just type a star symbol. The star is often called as a wildcard and we specify to grant permission to everyone. The star is also referred as anonymous access. This will allow all the objects in the bucket to be publicly accessible. Then on the actions, click on the drop down box. Find uh, gate objects and click on the check box and then click on anywhere out on the page. Now right click and click on the paste to write the ARN here. If you are not sure about it, uh, go to the S3 management console, copy the ARN from there, come back to the policy generator and paste it here. Make sure you add slash followed by a star or asterisk symbol at the end of this ARN. Then click on the add statement. 
a statement of policy is created now click on generate policy copy this policy that's generated on json format go to s3 management console and paste the policy statement here then click on save it's done click on properties click on static website hosting and if you click on this endpoint url you will get your website from anywhere on the internet if you give this link to anyone they can get the website it's public now but this is not the convenient way of accessing a website so now i'm going to show you how to configure domain name mapping for this website i have the domain name uh, eternaljoyintl.com i will map it to this we can use aws route 53 service for this uh, with amazon route 53 uh, you don't have to pay any upfront fees or commit to the number of queries the service uh, answer for your domain like with other aws services you pay as you go and only for what you use this basic price is a uh, 0.50 dollar per hosted zone for month for the first 25 hosted zones but a hosted zone uh, that is deleted within 12 hours of creation is not charged any dollar so on the aws management console uh, search for route 53 and click on it click on create hosted zone click on create hosted zone again click on create hosted zone on the right side enter your domain name and make sure the type is public hosted zone and then click on create button here we can see the ns and soe records are already there for this domain now click on create record set you don't need to give any name the type is host a ip before address on the allies click on s and click on the allies target box here you will see your domain allies target is listed click on that and then click on the create button it's done here in route 53 next we need to point the name servers address in our domain providers dashboard that means in my case i have to copy the two ns out of the listed four and point that to namecheap so i open my domain name providers website which is a namecheap in my case i already logged in so i click on dashboard then i click on the manage button to manage on this domain eternaljointl.com here on the name servers section select custom dns from the drop down and if you already have any name server pointed there then remove them then go to route 53 uh, management console copy the name server come back to the namecheap dashboard and paste it here in the same way copy and paste another name server then click on this uh, right sign to save you should make sure that you have selected the custom dns and pointed the name servers uh, given to you from aws route 53 name server pointing may take some time and here as you can see dns server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect although it tells 48 hours it may take although it tells uh, 48 hours it may always not take that much time so after some time you can ping your domain in the command prompt type ping and your domain name if you get reply then the site will be up and you will see your page from the domain name as it takes a little bit of time i pause this video and i'll be back once it's done okay after about an hour i am going to check it i open the command from then run ping and the domain name which is eternaljointl.com in my case here you go we can get the reply this means everything is fine up and running i got one request timed out that's maybe due to my internet connectivity anyway i'm getting reply that means we should now get the page open in this domain name from the web browser let's go to the browser then enter the url yes we get the page okay guys this is how uh, we can uh, host a static website on amazon s3 bucket and access them with the custom domain name for that we first created a bucket on s3 and managed policy for that 
then we created hosted record for the domain on aws uh, route 53 then pointed the name servers to our domain name of a domain providers dashboard such as the namesheets dashboard uh, i hope the video was useful to you that's all for now please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching see you in the next videos until then have a nice time goodbye